Hello again. This is Ty. Um, this last weekend, I did the Edmund Art Festival. And it went pretty good. I, I sold a, a painting, an original. And I also sold some prints. So, But when it comes to the... Um, the other side of it, which there's more than one side to an art festival doing it, you know, as an artist. It's nice to sell things and make a living doing it. And the business side of it, you know, there's a business side of it. But then there's also the connection side of it. And this one wasn't quite, uh, wasn't quite like downtown. There wasn't the stories about, you know, people crying when they buy your paintings and stuff like that. This one had an interesting, a uh, couple interesting conversations I had with people, which kind of brings me to a subject I kind of wanted to bring up. Um, there was a guy I walked into my booth, and him and his two girlfriends or whatever, I don't know, two girls that were with him, they were looking at my paintings, and they were standing there for a long time, so I know I need to either go up and talk to this person, or... Um, you know, to either get them to, you know, maybe they're interested in it and get, get them into that to find out whether they need to buy something or not. Or or I needed to get them to move on because, you know, I had other customers who might want to buy a painting or want to buy a print or something like that. So, anyways, the story, the it went like this. The I don't want to say the story because it's true. I looked up and I said, so, you know, one of my lines when I say to people is that I'll go, well, so which one do you like best? That's a good way to jump in right into a conversation with somebody about a painting whenever they're looking at them. And uh, the guy turns to me and says, with a real smart-ass attitude and with this look, kind of a snicker look, and goes, <laughs> none of them with that price. Which, you know, I... I understand, you know, some people don't understand the pricing of artwork, but um, normally I just let this blow, you know, roll off my sh off my back like it, you know, like it didn't bother me. But for some reason I didn't. I think it's because there was seemed to be a lot of this going on, a lot of you know uneducated as far as like art prices and things like that goes. You know, people that were among the crowd. I don't know if I would call it educated. It's just a lot of smart aleck remarks about pricing and stuff like that. And so uh, I snapped back at him. I didn't snap like mean. I just, I said, well, which one do you, uh, he, I said, he said, I said, which one, he said, which one do you like best? He said, he said, no, I'm at that price. And I said, well, I said, which one do you like? I said, I don't care about the price. Which one do you like best? I didn't ask about whether you thought the price. And he kind of snickers and gives this look like to his girl, to the girls, and goes, "Oh, well, it's a hard decision." Where you know, obviously, he was being a smart aleck about the fact that he really didn't like any of the artwork, but he just wanted to be a jerk about the pricing, like I was some sort of con artist or something like that. And uh, I couldn't let this go. <laughs> I don't know why, but so I said, "Well, you know, I sell my artwork all the time at that price." And uh, it has nothing to do with the fact with the fact whether you can afford it or not. It has to do with the fact that it's a supply and demand. It's what the sales for. Well, then he wanted to engage me in a conversation like he truly was interested. But then the guy wouldn't leave me alone. I'm trying to talk to other people. He kept on walking around asking me more questions like, so where do you show? And I told him all the galleries that I show in and all the art shows that I do. Like, he had the idea that this was the first art show I ever did and I just made up a price. And that's when I turned around and said, well, I don't just make up these prices. He's like, well, how do you price it out? And I gave him my formula by square inch and everything like that and said, you know, this is what they sell at. So that's why I price them at that range. And I, this attitude kind of gets to me sometimes, that the fact that the people think that just because art doesn't have a function which it does have a function, but in their eyes it doesn't have a, uh, a physical function that is not worth anything. And it's quite the co the contrary. You know, things that have a function, most in most cases, are disposable. And the fact that artwork is not disposable, artwork is meant to be taken care of and passed on to generation after generation. It, it It's hard to get through the minds of 
of people who are living. You know, most of the reason I think the reason people think this way is because they're living day to day, and they're just trying to survive. And it, it's, it makes me sick to think to say that because you know we live in a country. Well, at least I live in the United States, so I'm sure you know wh wherever you come from. But we live in a country to where we don't need to live like that. I mean, it's 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 absolutely insane the fact that we have to have every little fad that comes along, and we have to eat out at McDonald's every day. And we'll, I'm, it's not McDonald's. I'm not going to say McDonald's. You know that we have to spend our money on crap when we just spend our money on. Cr you know, disposable crap, and then we turn around to the arts and thumb our nose at it like it's not worth it. And it just makes me sick. I mean, it just makes me sick. And I, I shouldn't be going, coming down in the United States or anything like that, but because it, it's not, I know not everybody like that. But I'm talking about the people that 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 are like that, that like this guy that that come to an art festival just to harass the artist about the fact that they don't think art is worth the money that they're asking for. So anyways, I did well, I mean, I did well at the show. I did sell prints and I did sell quite a bit. So I mean, I, mean, I did probably the best I've ever done at this show. I've done the show five years and I did the best I've ever done at it in five years. So I'm pretty proud of myself. It was pretty, it was, I did pretty good. So anyways, today I was out in my courtyard area. This is my courtyard. It's a little messy right now. I mean, the kids have got like their bikes and stuff. But uh, I was out here in the courtyard and I set up my easel and I painted up 16 by 20. It's a little out of the ordinary. I'll show it to you. You guys can tell me what you think. Okay? Thanks. See you later. Just take a few seconds and show the painting. I have it set at an angle here in the sun to dry. But it's going to be like another vanilla fields type of thing. Not vanilla, but lavender fields thing. And this one I price at well framed. It's priced. It's, you know I've been pricing 16 by 20s. I price them at 600. I'm not even sure what I'm gonna do with the frame. I stuck this in a frame, and it, to me it looked like an old old person's painting. The frame that I put it in. So I'll have to find the right frame for it. And I don't know what, exactly what to do. But if someone wants to, if someone you wanted to buy it unframed, I'd probably sell it to them for 500. So, but anyways, <sighs> sorry I've had to vent like that. I don't know if it's venting. I, I didn't. I hate to put out a negative video, but I wonder if any other artists out there have the same feeling as I have about that, about that, that type of attitude. So, all right. Anyways, all you artists out there, paint like a madman. Okay, bye.